welcome to this video on empowerment technology. This video will help you explore the different technologies and online platforms and how they can be used effectively. It contains activities that will let you create your own ICT contents and evaluate existing online creation tools, platforms, and applications. The video allows you to learn in your own space at your own pace. So relax and enjoy. What is ICT? What is ICT? Information and Communication Technology or ICT. It refers to the use of communication technology such as laptop, smartphones, tablet, telephone, and internet to send, save, and edit information. ICT in the Philippines, the use of communication technology spread in the entire country. Nowadays, even in rural areas. According to Rappler blog site, there are 190 million mobile phone subscription from a total population of 101 million and 47 million active Facebook accounts. The Philippines is the fastest growing app market in the Southeast Asia and the highest digital population in the world. The top Online activities are social media, videos, online mobile games. Why is it important to empower ICT? It is important for its innovative uses impacts our daily lives. It has affected our ways of communicating, made our lives more convenient, and assisted countries towards their modernization plans. Thus, there is a need to create a foundation of understanding in the world. Before proceeding to our lesson, first answer the five questions to measure what topics have you known. So, how many correct answers have you got? That is great! Now, let us reflect on the following questions. How many times have you checked your phone this morning? How many updates have you posted on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram? Do you use internet? Mobile for an hour after you woke up this morning? Have you followed celebrity? A crash on his or her social media? Well, information and communication. 
Information Technology or ICT often deals with the use of different technological inventions like mobile phones, telephones, computer, internet, and other devices as well as software application to locate, save, send, and manipulate information. ICD has a great contributed to how easy our lives has been today. Our gadgets have been part of our necessity that we check on them after we wake up. It made communication easier. We can use cellular phones that are designed for communicating with other people, even they are miles away from us. It has also assisted us in our work since there are internet-based jobs. It has revolutionized our education and in the modernization of our economy. Now, let us check your readiness to use internet and computer. See whether you agree or disagree to each of the statements. There are no right or wrong answer for this activity. Write your answer on your notebook. I have reliable access to a computer, mobile phone, tablet, or any gadget that can act as substitute to computers. I have access to a high-speed internet connection with video streaming capabilities. I have experience using email. I can create, send, forward, reply to, and save email messages and attachments. I have experience in word processing. I can create, edit, save, and navigate documents using software programs such as Microsoft Word or Pages for Mac. I know how to search the web using internet browsers such as Firefox or Google Chrome. I have experience using online or mobile social media, examples Facebook, Twitter. I have experience viewing videos online like YouTube. I have experience filling out forms and taking quizzes online. I have experiences using cloud-based programs such as Google Drive or Google Docs. I have experience searching online for academic resources, examples Google Scholar. I have experience with video conferencing, like Zoom, Skype. Did you agree to all or most of the questions? If so, then you must have experience using the different online platforms and sites. ICT in the Philippines is dubbed as the ICT hub of Asia because of a huge growth of ICT-related jobs, one of which is BPO, Business Process Outsourcing or Call Centers. In a data gathered by the annual survey of the Philippines Business and Industries in 2010, the ICT industry shares 19.3% of the total employment population when the internet was fully commercialized in 1995. It has tremendously impacted culture and commerce including the rise of near instant communication by email, instant messaging, telephony, voice over internet protocol or VOID, two-way interactive video calls, and the World Wide Web with the discussion forums, blogs, social networking, and online shopping sites. Internet is a global system of interconnected computer networks that uses the Internet Protocol suit to communicate between networks and devices. The World Wide Web is an information system on the Internet that allows documents to be connected to other documents by hyper text links, enabling the other users to search for information by moving from one document to another document. It was invented 
by Tim Berners-Lee. The World Wide Web browser software such as Microsoft's Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, Apple Safari, and the Google Chrome that users navigate from one web page to another via hyperlinks embedded in the documents. These documents may also contain any combination of computer data, including graphics, sounds, text, video, multimedia, and interactive content that runs while the user is interacting with the page. The web has enabled individuals and organizations to publish their ideas and information to a potential large audience online at greatly reduced expense and time delay. So we have here the types of web pages. First is the web 1.0 or the web. It is the first stage of the World Wide Web evolution. It is a flat or stationary page since it cannot be manipulated by the user. Web 2.0 or the social web allows users to interact with the page. The user may be able to comment or create a user account. Most websites that we visit today are Web 2.0 or semantic. The semantic web provides a framework that allows data to be shared and reused to deliver web content, specifically targeting the user. And we'll gather details about you from your previous activities like likes and social postings and present the answers as per your preference. Now let us compare the three types of web. First is the web 1.0, second is web 2.0, and the last one is web 3.0. Now we have here the criteria. We have first communication, information, focus, content, interaction, search matrix, advertising technologies. As you can see, the communication in Web 1.0 is broadcast, while the Web 2.0 is interactive, and then the Web 3.0 engaged or invested. Now let's go with the information. In information, the Web 1.0 is static or read only while the web 2.0 is dynamic and lastly the web 3.0 is portable and personal now let's go with the focus the focus in web 1.0 is organization while the web 2.0 is community and lastly, the Web 3.0 is individual. Now, let's go with the content. In Web 1.0, ownership. Web 2.0 is sharing. And lastly, Web 3.0 is immersion. Now, let's go with the interaction. The Web 1.0, web forms. While the Web 2.0, is web application and lastly the web 3.0 is smart application now let's go with the search criteria web 1.0 is directories web 2.0 is tags or keywords then lastly the web 3.0 is context or relevance now let's go with the metrics criteria Web 1.0 is page views. Web 2.0 is cost per click. Then lastly, the Web 3.0 is user engagement. Now let's go with advertising criteria. The Web 1.0 is banner, while the Web 
2.0 is interactive. And lastly, the web 3.0 is behavioral. Now, let's see the last criteria, technologies. Web 1.0 is HTML or FTP. The Web 2.0 is Flash, Java, and XML. Web 3.0 is RDF slash RDFS slash OWL. So, that is the comparison of Web 1.0, Web 2.0, and Web 3.0. So, we have here an activity. Where do I belong? So, the direction is Using the internet, look for the web pages of the pages listed below. Evaluate whether they are Web 1.0, Web 2.0, or Web 3.0. Write your answer in your activity notebook. And pass it during your scheduled distribution of your module. If you have concerns and questions, don't hesitate to contact me in these details.